What would you say if I told you that the Google Pixel Watch actually edges out the Apple Watch Ultra in one very important area? You'd probably think I was crazy because when you look at each of these smartwatches, you probably think that there's no competition between the two. Well, think again. Now, before I dive into this one thing, definitely make sure you stick around and watch the full video as I will be doing a pretty dope giveaway because we just reached 20K subs on YouTube. So keep your eyes open. So when I switched from iPhone to Android, I was really worried that I'd be taking a step back when it came to having a reliable smartwatch, especially since I have been using the Apple Watch Ultra for almost an entire year now. And it's been by far the best watch that Apple has ever announced. They crushed it when it came to the battery life as I could get around at least two days with some change with moderate use. It's extremely durable with its titanium casing, IP6 dust resistance, and water resistance up to 100 meters. The large 49 millimeter sapphire crystal display is super sleek, and it peaks at around 2,000 nits of brightness, which is twice as bright as all the other Apple Watch series. It is the perfect blend of hardware and software as the interface is well-designed, it's easy to use, especially with the recent Watch OS 10 update, where apps now take up the whole display, and with smart stacks, you get access to all of the important widgets served up to you when it matters most. And of course, you get that really nifty action button to give a bit more functionality where you can set it up to automatically start workouts, activate a shortcut, or even turn the Apple Watch Ultra into a mini flashlight. Clearly, I have a little bit of an obsession with this guy, which is why it was really hard to let it go. When I tried out the Pixel 7 Pro last year, I also purchased the Pixel Watch just to see how they would compare. And honestly, when I first tried it, it was a tad bit underwhelming. I did like how they leaned into a more circular dome form factor, but the physical build quality definitely wasn't as heavy duty as the Apple Watch Ultra because it has more of a stainless steel finish. The Google Wear OS software and functionality was also very simplified and not as robust as the Watch OS 10 software. You could definitely tell there aren't the same number of apps that are currently supported on the Pixel Watch platform compared to the Apple Watch. You also unfortunately don't get access to the huge library of widgets and watch faces either. And don't even get me started on the battery life as you really only get about a day and maybe a few hours max with it. So with all that said, you're probably wondering, Noah, how can this Pixel Watch that does lag a lot in these areas because it's a first generation product actually edge out in front of the Apple Watch Ultra. It's health and fitness tracking. I know this may be a hot take, but stick with me here. I think Google does the perfect job of making a smartwatch and reliable fitness tracker all in one device. This is all possible because of their acquisition of Fitbit back in November of 2019. And for a while after the acquisition, all Google did was continue to push out new Fitbit fitness trackers that had smartwatch features. And for me, this is really important because I don't know about you, but most people buy a smartwatch more than just to get the typical text and email notifications. They also like the idea of not having to need an additional device or fitness tracker just to see their health and fitness metrics. And when you compare the Pixel Watch's health features with the Apple Watch Ultra, you can see that the Pixel Watch is definitely running away with that category. Now, from a hardware perspective, both watches are very similar. They both have a blood oxygen sensor and electrical heart rate sensor to run ECG scans and an optical heart rate sensor to get fairly accurate readings of your heart rate throughout the day. The difference, however, lies in the actual software itself. On the Pixel Watch specifically, you get native Fitbit features throughout the entire device. With a few simple swipes on the main screen, you could see your daily step count, your current heart rate, and you can also activate a quick workout and get access to your overall sleep score. On top of that, you also have a dedicated Fitbit app on the Pixel Watch itself, which basically goes into further detail on each of your different health metrics, such as more information on the calories burned throughout the day, it gives you more insight into the amount of active minutes you've had throughout the day, and it gives you a deeper look into your sleep score and individual sleep stages. Now, I know you're probably saying that the Apple Watch Ultra also has the ability to show similar metrics, but one, you have to use a variety of apps to get that same data. And then number two, they only provide a very oversimplified view of your numbers, and they don't go that in depth compared to the Fitbit app. And I have to give an honorable mention to how much I love getting the standing notifications on my Pixel Watch way more than my Apple Watch because it not only makes you just stand up, but it also gives you a number of steps that you need to take in order to keep your body moving throughout the workday. It really gives me that push and motivation to hit that nine hour stand goal versus Apple Watch's time to move notification, which I ignore half the time. Now the bow that wraps it all together is you get six months free of Fitbit Premium when you buy the Pixel Watch, which unlocks even more health insights on your actual phone. The Fitbit app is literally the gold standard fitness app that I recommend to everybody, and that's mainly because you get everything. 
advanced sleep analytics, a daily readiness score, mindfulness sessions through their partnership with Calm, video workouts, recipe recommendations, and even a wellness report that recaps your health metrics over the previous 30 days. In my opinion, it is totally worth that six to 10 bucks a month if you really are into seeing those deeper level insights. And honestly, even if you don't wanna pay for the premium membership after those free six months, you still get access to enough data to make better decisions on your health anyway. Which is why for my giveaway in honor for us reaching 20,000 subscribers, I would love to give one of you guys this gold Pixel Watch. When I bought my Pixel Fold, they gave me this one for free and I was like, yo, I gotta give this to one of my subscribers, especially for all the love that you guys have shown me. So the only thing you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and share with me what you like most about the Pixel Watch. Don't forget to have those post notifications on because I will be announcing the winner in my next video. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the Pixel Watch blows the Apple Watch Ultra out of the water in general, right? Like I really do love the Apple Watch Ultra, especially with the latest updates. The interface has just been so smooth to use on Watch OS 10. And in fact, I might need to make just a separate video on the Apple Watch Ultra itself, but I do think that the Pixel Watch is a really good first generation device. There's a few things I would like to see in like a Pixel Watch 2 or maybe even a Pixel Watch Pro that I think will really make it stack up against the Apple Watch Ultra a little bit more. And that could be like a larger screen that's a little bit more durable. Also just having more Google Wear OS app and widget support. You know what, as I think about it, isn't that what the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is? Maybe I should try that one out. Oh, oh, oh.